Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, the great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing the true doctrine across the four winds of the earth and all truth and its sincerity. On the Mod Ariyah for the Mississippi camp, Lord willing, this be a fine lesson. And this is just a quick lesson through the spirit. You know, I just come from AutoZone. And I mean, every employee there is a woman at this time. Every last one of them. And I'm like, yo, where the fuck the men at? You know, it's crazy. You got it. You know, and I mean, then, you know, it just started stirring up my spirit, man. I started getting aggravated. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, why in the fuck there are no men up in here? So, you know, I just left. I said, fuck it. I'll check on it later, man. And I just got in the car and got a couple of scriptures together because, I mean, it's, 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 it's ridiculous, man. But that's the world we live in. This is the world we live in, man. So I'm going to get a couple of scriptures here. I'm going to go at first into the the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 22. And it reads, how long wilt thou, wilt thou go about, O backsliding daughter? For the Lord Yahweh hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. You know, and, and that's what's happening, man. Because, you know, when you go into that compass, man, it goes into a, uh, goes be, means going beyond, okay? You know, have limits, you know, or, or uh, bounds, boundaries. You know, they have this, this stretch or, or like almost no limit of how they can uh, go above and beyond men in this society man and, and and this we and this is just what the lord had already documented was gonna happen man and this is a um a result of the garden man eve pretty much making a covenant with esau you know thou shalt not surely die and now she and, and then when you go into any facility man you got the Edomite man, Eve, and the Edomite woman got all the fucking jobs, man. And Jake is under these women, taking orders from these women. These women are Jake's boss. Even in law enforcement, man, you see women every fucking where, man. I'm like, God damn, man. But that shows how how everything is upside down, out of course, and out of order, man. This this world is completely out of order. Because, you know, hey, in the ancient world, women, especially Israelite women, you know, one one no working out in no facilities and or, or whatever. They was at home taking care of the family, man, taking care of the house. Now, I know it's, now, I know this is a different age, a different time. But still, man, some jobs should still be strictly or primarily for men man ain't no reason why you should be going to fucking auto parts store dealing with women and, and and most of the time if it is a male there the woman is gonna call him to ask him a question man if that computer can't give her what she needs you know sometimes you gotta ask just a a regular question regarding a vehicle man about a, maybe a sound is making. You know that the computer ain't finna just tell you that you gotta have some kind of experience with vehicles to know. Now, granted, you got some women know a little bit about vehicles who probably hang around their pops, uncle, or whatever the case may be. But come on, man. Every female, I mean, every goddamn employee, a female in AutoZone, give me a fucking break, man. Let's get back into the scriptures. I mean, it's just it's it's just beyond me, man. 
I'm just like, damn. You know, I, I can't I can't get no male assistance in here to ask him a question regarding the vehicle. Then you got one of the the, the I believe she was the boss, the the uh 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 of uh, 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 Butch Cassidy, if you will. She she looking like a, a nigga up in there. I guess she running the show. Or the other one. I don't fucking know, man. All right, this is the book of First Timothy chapter 2, verse 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Which this is speaking regarding the truth, right? Speaking regarding the gospel. I suffer a woman not to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence, right? But when you work in a lot of these 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 companies, you know, you're you're finna be working for a woman, whether it's Eve, you know, or whether it's Edomite woman, but you're definitely gonna be under the umbrella, one or the other, but the top of the umbrella is gonna be the Edomite man. We already know that. But a lot of time Eve is is right at his right hand or left hand, if you will. But a woman shouldn't be over a man, telling him what to do, so-called training him, teaching him on the job, man. But this is the world we live in, man. That's why the Lord is going to come back and set things in order, man. You know, put balance back into the earth. Authority, you know what I'm saying? Put um order back in the earth. Because right now, man, everything is turned upside down. But, hey, this is just a quick lesson through the spirit, man. Hey, we got to get up out of here, man. Can't go to a fucking auto store. No one of your brothers done seen it, man. You go into the auto supply stores and ain't nothing but a fucking bunch of women up in there, man. So, hey, Lord willing, it's an edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash, double honor to our apostles, the elders, great millstone, and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.